appreciate your thoughts, and I have to say I used to be in that camp myself. So I have a lot of sympathy for people who are, what should we say? Um, intimidated? Uh, intimidated yeah. by this campaign of fear that tells you we have to vote your fears, you have to vote against what you're afraid of rather than for what you believe. And I think it's really important to look at the track record of this strategy. Uh, you know, which has certainly been in full force since Bush, Nader, Gore in 2000. What that strategy has brought us basically is this. Voting your fears has actually delivered everything we were afraid of. All the reasons that you're told that you had to vote for the lesser evil because you didn't want the expanding wars, you didn't want the meltdown of the climate, you didn't want the offshoring of our jobs, you didn't want massive Wall Street bailouts. You didn't want the expansion of, of mass incarceration and the prison state. You know, all of that it is what helped. we've gotten by silencing ourselves and allowing political parties that are funded by the predatory banks and, and the war profiteers, by allowing them to speak for us with a lesser evil candidate. Because that's sort of what you're saying, you know, when you say, you know, don't vote for you who you believe in, but the least of the two uh, of the two uh, alternatives. And unfortunately, that has delivered all this bad stuff. And when you vote for a lesser evil candidate, you know, and, and I think the reason people like uh, Cornell West opposed President Obama was because the first thing he did was appoint Larry Summers, the architect of Wall Street deregulation and the meltdown that has basically, you know, created chaos in our economy. You know, that was Barack Obama's first act, was to uh, in, in, in appoint Larry Summers, and then it was all downhill from there. So, you know, it's, it's a case in point of the lesser evil doesn't deliver for people. So, you know what happens then? People don't come out to vote uh, in that party. And so we had Congress flip from being blue to being red. And state houses flip, and governors flip. And we kind of went from blue to red all, all over the place because the lesser evil is not a solution. Uh, it just paves the way to the greater evil. Okay. So if I could reject that propaganda, we need to reject the lesser evil and fight for the greater good. Now think about the greater good, because we have the numbers to actually do it. We need the strength of our own convictions to stand up and make it happen. We That's thank right, you for sweet. joining us, Dr. Stein, Green. Green Party candidate for, pre for president. Thank you again. Thank you so much.